Hi, welcome to Charles Church Ministries. Today I want to share something with you that is not easy to do, but it's very important for us to, to get to a place where we can be the kind of person that God wants us to be. And that's very difficult to do if we find it hard in our hearts to forgive someone who has done something to us. Because you see, if we hold that burden inside of us, it will destroy us. It will destroy you if you find it impossible to forgive. We always need to remember what Jesus said uh, to Peter when Peter asked him in Matthew uh, chapter 18, verse 21 to 22. When Peter asked Jesus and he said to him, how many times do I have to forgive my brother? Seven times? And Jesus answered and said, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. You see, we need to continually be ready to forgive in the same way that Jesus forgave us. In fact, he loved you and he loved me before we were born. He loved us while we were still sinners. And he went to the cross. He died on the cross for you and for me. And so we need to forgive. It is a command from God to you and to me that we need to forgive. But I want to say it's more than that. Really, what God is doing is he wants to set us free from the burden of the unforgiveness. Because you see, my friend, when you cannot forgive, the burden will destroy you. It stays inside of you. It, it becomes like a pressure cooker inside of your life that, that will explode in your life from time to time because it's really it's something that will try to break you down and the devil will use it to destroy you. To forgive is not to condone what the person has done to you. It's not saying that I'm going to forgive you, therefore I condone what you have done to me. Therefore it is okay. The thing that you've done to me is okay. The way you've treated me is okay. The way you've hurt me is okay. That's not the case. To give it over to, to the Lord, to say to God, I forgive this person, sets you and it will set me free. If we come to that place and say, Lord, I don't want to carry this burden anymore. I don't want to carry this bitterness anymore. I don't want to carry this anger anymore. And so we need to give it to God. You see, the Lord knew. He knows that you and I need to do this so that we can find healing. That person will go on with their lives as if nothing has happened. They live their lives. They're not worried about how you feel. But you carrying that burden in your life, and that burden will destroy you. Maybe it's something that your father has done to you, or your mother has done to you, or a sister, or, or a loved one, or a friend. It's, it's done something to you, and you've carried that burden, and you've not been able to forgive. I want to tell you today that God is speaking to you, that you need to forgive that person. Hand them over to the Lord and say, Lord, I give this person to you. I don't want to carry this pain anymore. I don't want to carry this burden anymore. I give this person to you. I remember in my own life, which was something quite small compared to uh, some things that people have to deal with when they, when they carry the pain of, of being hurt or the pain of someone doing something to them. What I went through was, quite a, was something that was just unusual because there was a brother years back that I, for some reason, just could not connect with. I thought he was a hypocrite. I thought that he was, um, he was self-centered. And I, I had an absolute dislike toward this brother. But I knew in my heart that this was not of God. And I was a hypocrite because in front of him, I was fine. I would smile and laugh. And everybody, you know, thought I had absolutely no problem with this man. But deep down inside of me, I knew that I had this dislike toward this, this brother in Christ. And so in my prayers, I felt the Lord was saying to me that I needed to make right. I went to this brother and I said to this brother, I said, I just want to tell you, I've got this dislike in my spirit for you. You haven't done anything to me, but I want to ask for your forgiveness. And the most amazing thing is this, is that I also, I, I blamed the devil. I said, the devil put the dislike in my heart toward you. And um, I blamed the devil for the very thing that I that I had uh, put into my own spirit. And um, when I did that, I expected him to become angry toward me. But he didn't do that because he was, a, he was a strong, mature brother in the Lord. 
And he looked at me and he said, Charles, don't you feel better for doing that? And he came up to me and he put his arms around me and he embraced me. And at that moment, it was as if this black cloud just lifted off my spirit, lifted out of my heart. And I saw this brother in a completely new light. And the two of us became the best of friends. And so I want to just say to you, if you are walking with this burden in your heart of unforgiveness, just give it to the Lord. Say, Lord, I give this person to you. Take it away from me. And when you do that, I promise you, you will feel the peace of God that passes all understanding. Just give that person to the Lord and say, Lord, I hand them over to you. And always just remember this. Remember, you are special and God loves you. So let's just pray. Father, I want to pray for whoever's listening to this talk today. If there's anyone in their heart, anyone in their lives that has hurt them and that they're suffering with unforgiveness, I pray that you would give them the ability to forgive that person that you would set them free to forgive, that they can just give that person to you, Lord, that your peace will touch them and empty them of themselves and fill them more and more with your spirit. May they experience your peace. May they rise up and live again with the sense of your amazing love that you have for them. So whoever is listening to my talk today, Lord, touch their heart. Touch their heart right now and set them free. Help them to forgive. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, God bless.